praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. The Word of God became flesh and made his dwelling among us, and we saw his glory. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. The angel Gabriel was sent from God to a town of Galilee called Nazareth to a virgin betrothed to a man named Joseph of the house of David, and the virgin's name was Mary. And coming to her, he said, Hail, full of grace, the Lord is with you. But she was greatly troubled at what was said and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. Then the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. Behold, you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you shall name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called Son of the Most High, and the Lord God will give him the throne of David his father, and he will rule over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. But Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I have no relations with the man? And the angel said to her, in reply, the Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore, the child to be born will be called Holy, the Son of God. And behold, Elizabeth, your relative, has also conceived a son in her old age, and this is the sixth month for her who was called barren, for nothing will be impossible for God. Mary said, Behold, I am the handmaid of the Lord. May it be done to me according to your word. Then the angel departed from her. The Gospel of the Lord. In reflecting upon uh, this Gospel passage, for the Feast of the Annunciation, the solemnity that the church throughout the world pauses to recognize nine months ahead of Christmas, not missed on any of us, the significance of the Incarnation, the sacredness of human life in the womb. First and foremost, it gives us this wonderful opportunity through the lens of faith to see the significance of conception, life from the very point. I had the privilege in the summer of 1995 to study in the Holy Land, uh, in a program over the whole summer uh, sponsored by St. John's in Collegeville. And we lived in Ein Kerim, uh, which is the historical site of the birth of John the Baptist and has the historical site of the well where Elizabeth lived. It also has an incredible, you know, church basilica that was built on the ruins of, uh, and the foundations are from the time of the Crusades and, and even earlier than that from the St. Helen marking these historical sites, you know, time of Constantine. The church is beautiful, it's breathtaking. The instructions and the mosaics and the windows are remarkable. The acoustics from the church of the time period are stunning. But there's this little well. Not a lot of excitement around it. It's just ancient, still there not any posts or signs. I was with Abbot Gregory Poland and two other seminarians, and we had had dinner, and he asked us, do you want to go and say the rosary? Let's go up the hill. And we thought we were going to go to the Church of the Annunciation. And he instead took us to the well. 
at Ein Karim. <laughs> and he looked at us and he said, as beautiful as the church is, know that this hole in the ground is the historical site of the source of water that Elizabeth would have gone to or her attendants to get water in the morning. Mary, upon visiting Elizabeth, would have passed by this well. She would have drank water from this well, supporting the life of Christ within her womb. When we finished the rosary, he said to us, and remember that through the gift of the incarnation, this day spent in prayer by this well is as immediate a reality as the day that Mary greeted Elizabeth. The incarnation, the annunciation, the passion of the Lord that we'll celebrate in the Triduum coming up and his resurrection are meant for today. They are as real today as they were in history. Let us pray in this Holy Eucharist that the grace of God's action on behalf of our salvation will permeate every thought, word, and action of ours today to the glory of God the Father. It's why we're here. 